Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and I asked you guys to give me some questions that you might have for Vroid, and I'm gonna go over some of those now. Can you give me a tutorial on how to make a Mario-inspired crown? Um, yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that one. That one's from Ashley. And Alex asks, How do you make a hood on the head with hair without it looking weird because it's made out of strands? Since the light hits every strand, we can see them. Well, if you're having just a problem with the light, turn the light off. Just turn the highlights to a black and you should be fine. However, I have never seen a decent hood made from hair. There's someone who did an okay job, but I didn't really get to see it in motion. Um, yeah, yeah, it's hoods, hoods, Vroid. Vroid just needs to add that. Vroid, do your shit. Angelina, whenever I try to add bones, it just goes really wrong. Like, sometimes I select certain freehand groups, but it'll pick, um, but it'll pick up groups I didn't even select. Or it'll entirely shift the hair, and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. So if it selects, uh, hair you're not selecting, over on the side, you should be able to deselect the hair you want. Um, and just select the ones you do want. And if the hair entirely shifts, that's, so when you, um, add a bone, it's still gonna be kinda, like, stiff initially and then when you select off of it it's going to droop in how the bones are reacting to it so if the hair suddenly shifts awkwardly it is because of the bones that you've added to it so you might just need to fiddle with the bones a little bit uh i had to fiddle a lot with this hat and um yeah because it just was not wanting to cooperate it kept falling through my head but sometimes you just gotta fiddle with it until you get right where you want it and that could take that could take a long time I, I think I spent like 45 minutes on just getting the bones in this hat right. Alright, proper. Um, how might you go about making an afro in Vroid? Um, I don't know, I have to think on that one. Let me think about it and maybe I'll make a tutorial on it. Akoyo. In your opinion, what is uh, more important, having a good personality or a good Vroid model or to succeed as a Vroid? streamer um personality best like if you have really good charisma it doesn't matter what your model looks like because you won't even need a model however uh, a good viroid model is probably more appealing to look at uh, but ultimately you don't need it in fact you don't need anything on s screen to stream a lot of people stream without having any models or any webcam or anything on there is it possible to import custom clothes to Vroid? If you mean like MMD clothes, no. If you mean like someone's textures that they put up on booth, like you know how I sell like the shoe textures, yeah, you can import those by going into the proper clothing, um, go into the texture tab, and then right click and import on a layer, and it should import it in. Uh, yep. How do I make glasses in Vroid using hair? Well, you're in luck. I have uh, made that one, Jan, and that one should be out soon. Uh, La Hater. How do I export teeth or keep uh, fangs and shark teeth to the exported character? Um, well, I mentioned that in my blend shape tutorial, but I also made a new one for people who ask me this because this question gets asked quite a lot. Um, but mostly you just adjust the blend shapes in Unity on every single blend shape. Can you do more Vroid to Unity tutorials? I am able to import my model from Vroid to Unity, but it always missing the rig and I have no idea how to fix it. The rigging is still there. Um, you're not going to see it initially because you're going to be kind of like, um, it's going to be in a freeze T-pose, I think. Uh, if you want to see it on Unity in the center, there's a play button, and then you're going to want to go over to Scene. And at that point, you can select any part of the body and move it around. Um, if your rigging is gone completely, then it's something wrong with your VRM importer. Um, but if you can export it out of Unity after importing it and all the rigging's still there, then it was there while you were in Unity. It just might not be activated at that time. Is it possible to change feet and arms and hands uh, using hair like you did with the first attempt with the harpies? I was planning to create uh, draconic arms and feet. However, if it's not possible with the feet because it didn't carry over to the final model. 
when you did the wings as arms, I saw proportion to the body was possible, but I don't... So it, it doesn't work well because what you're doing is you're just attaching like a bone to a bone and you can kind of get it to move sort of with it. I've tried it many times and I still can't get it to look right. Your best bet is if you really want to do something like that is to import it into Blender and do that that way. Um, but you'll need to know Blender and don't ask me, I don't know Blender. Second thing I was curious is to see if you can make a half human half snake model in Vroid. I tried it myself and it seemed possible, but using any clothes that is longer than the hips won't work because when you run or walk the clothes uh, like to act that their legs there. That is true. When I did a test, one of the problems I was having trouble with is connecting the snake tail to the body. Uh, so what I did once is I did a mermaid, probably in the similar way you're doing a snake, and you would attach it to the hips like you would any other tail, and you have to just make sure you do each and every strand because you're probably not working with just one strand, you're probably working with multiple strands. Um, but yeah, I can try to make that at some point, that seems kind of like an interesting challenge, Magic Star. Alright, Neko asks, how can you create long nails on a V-Roid character? You take it into Blender and you do some Blender bullshit. Is there a way to make a skirt that starts lower, like uh, the belly button? I tried making the top transparent, but it doesn't fit the body right. It's like it's hovering. Yep. 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 That's pretty much what happens. Uh, I have a lot of models that are kind of like that. Unfortunately, you just that's that's just just how it is. Like that's just Vroid. Um. You're not going to get that perfect fit on there, unfortunately. How would you go about making a hairstyle that's short bob with bangs covering one eye? I've been trying for ages to do this kind of hairstyle and failing miserably at it. Well, I did a short bob in my uh, intro very beginner tutorial for Vroid stuff. And in order to do the covering one eye, you would do basically the same way I did the bangs there, except instead of spreading it across the whole forehead, you would just do half the forehead and then just make it a little lower or a little longer so it covers the eye. Anonymous Vroid user. How to make double buns in Vroid. I've done a tutorial about that. I'm aware there's already a video on that. Oh good, so you know. But I think that was for hair in general. No, it was for those. Uh, how do I pose models in Blender? I have no idea. I don't fucking mess with Blender. And clothing texture tips. Um, as far as texture clothing, uh, your best bet is to kind of draw some basic shadows while it's still on the model in Vroid and then export it into your, um, into your art editing program. And then you would have like a base guideline of where the shadow should fall on the character. Um, but as far as like shading in general, uh, that is something you just kind of gotta learn. And if you mean like textures as far as like applying a pattern, um, yeah, you just apply a pattern like you would anything else. You just kind of draw it on or move it about. Yeah. Uh, Magic Star, again. I would like to see a tutorial on Japanese festival masks, like a kitsune mask, or hair body decorations. All that would have to be done with hair. It is possible in theory. Um, I don't really like the way they look when they come out, so I usually just try to either A, make one, or buy one from somebody who has um, offered the licensing for use. But yeah, it's just, it's just hair. As hair or body decoration, yep, yep. It's just, it's just hair. It's all hair. It always has been. Can I use V-Ray model on Android? If yes, how? There are some programs for Android, and they all suck. But if you go over into the Google Store and you just type VRM, there's also like V Pocket or whatever. You'll find other recommended with it. Uh, they're all pretty shitty, but you know. Sorry about that, vamp. Assassin. Yep. How can I export a model to animate it in Blender MMD? There's a tab on top that says export. You click on that tab, and then 
Over on the left hand side, you have a whole bunch of options. You click export. And then on the right hand side, it says exports. Export, 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 and then you have it. Um, how can I improve creating clothing? Practice. Lots of practice. Uh, start with giving an outline inside the program and then export it into an art program and work on it there. That way you don't have to worry about the program freezing and you're losing all your progress. Uh, not to mention you tend to get better lines that way. Uh, I hope that helped. Amendra. Almendra. Yep. Callie. Uh, asks, you should create a tutorial video comparing different applications, like Leopet Face Rig. Um, mentioned which ones are safe to use, no leaks, glitches, which are risky ones and dangerous to use. Uh, I don't know any dangerous ones to use. They all have glitches. They all have glitches. They're all... none of them are perfect. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll do one one day just showing how to use those different programs. Thanks, Kelly. Luna asks, how can you make the hair flow smoother? The back of the hair is always moving together like one box rather than in individual strands. So when you go to add the bones, you have to add the bones to each individual strand. If you add it as a box, then it's going to move as a box. Uh, you can clump them in like two strands and it's usually all right. Two to three strands. Sometimes I'll do them all together, but it really depends. I, I usually am not going to have much movement, period, and I just want something for a little bounce and not like heavy movement. But yes, do them all individually when you add the bones. Also, more bones tends to make it a little bit more smoother, but you know. Um, Peter asks, uh, what might you go about making a movie using the current free or low tools you listed on how to do, uh, do your video? Uh, would I need to supplement tools like Blender or Unity? Or what I need to supplement tools like Blender Uni. Um, so if you mean like recording your avatar, basically you just need something like um, uh, Streamlabs, which is what I have here. See Streamlabs? You know, definitely want to like do all that. Um, you're gonna want to just use your uh, free program, like uh, get over there, like a uh, VC face. So VC face here. BC face. Um, and you just put that over in the corner, and yeah, you should be fine. Uh, and then you just make your movie that way. If you want to pose the whole body, you're going to probably need some sort of tracking for the whole body. Although I've heard there are some experimental ones out there. I haven't tried them. I don't even remember the name of them, but you know. Uh, you shouldn't need to worry about Blender or Unity with them. Just free programs. Uh, Lamaton asks, Hi Argama, I've discovered your Vroid a few days ago and I'm desperately trying to make sheep horns on my character. I tried to look at tutorials on YouTube and on the internet but I found nothing about sheep horns. I saw some people who made really beautiful ones. So it must be possible. Uh, if it's possible for you, of course. Um, yeah, they, it should be fairly easy. I'll try to show you real quick. It's basically done with hair, which I'm sure you know. Let's uh, just grab this girl. And uh, what you're going to want to do is adjust it to how you want. Now, texturing is a good part of it. Um, I've done some demon horns before. I'm not sure what kind of sheep horns. I'm going to assume you want more of a ram horn. Alright, let's wait for the program to respond because be right as slow as molasses. All right, so we'll add a um, to a freehand group. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull this in a little bit, right? So I'm gonna make sure that I mirror on. I'm going to turn this color to something like I don't know a gray, I guess. I'll turn the the highlight to black and the shade to white. All right, and for me, I tend to keep it on diamond. I go more straight, and I kind of do it more in like this diagonal-ish -ish shape. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of grab from here and you just like pull it around. So now we got something that's a semblance of horns, right? We grab the freehand group, 
We're gonna wanna make those nice and thick. Because horns are thick. Might need to make them a little wider too, just to kinda like balance them out. You know, this color is not bad, but also it's really hard to see because it's the same background color. So let's, we're just gonna make them red. So now they kinda look like demon horns. I'm sorry, but you get the general idea. All right, and I'm gonna just uh, also take these front horns and just like fold them in a little bit like that. And just sort of adjust a little bit here, a little bit there. And now we have like some ram horns. Uh, you can adjust the mesh further in order to like make them longer or shorter. But you go over to texture. And let's say we do this, make it like a brown. Oh, why is the opacity low? Alright. Like that, we're gonna make some... Some kind of like... Whatever. Let's grab this color and just do some dark. My dude, this is just kind of messy. It's just giving you a general idea of what... Alright, and then you come over here and like most hair things, you just kind of adjust it and you... Let's see. Do the offset so it's kind of like... Kind of like this, so you still have that shading on the inside and the highlight on the outside. And you just sort of learn where to kind of put these. Uh, you can do it directly on the uh, texture itself over the other one. I would also take this over into another program to do. In fact, um, some other horns I did, I can show you real quick. Were these, so you can kind of see like the lines, the shading, and all that other stuff. Uh, and if you want like horns in a different, in a different way, like let's say you want them up, uh, we'll just add our freehand group. I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, and let's just pull this up a little bit, you know. Pull our mesh up. And right where the head is, we're just going to kind of pull that in a little bit. Why are you not drawing on there? Oh, I'm on the wrong layer, that's why. Oh shit. Oops, even I make mistakes. Alright, like that. Pull these in so that's where I'll attach at the head. Not so much right there. Nope. Alright. And you just pull up the horns like that. What you're gonna want to do is, you know, pull these down in and kind of tuck in the horns a bit. But yeah, horns. Alright, let's see what else we got. Um, Bella asks, can you do an extremely detailed video on hair? It's the most difficult part. I've done so many videos on hair that I don't know what else I could possibly add. Um, I have a beginner tutorial on how the basics work. I have hair tutorials on doing very simple hairstyles to complex hairstyles. I talk about making accessories and animal ears and tails with hair. I talk about hair a lot because it's a big part of the program. Um, if there's something in, uh, specific that you need to know about, like you'll have to let me know. As far as like a detailed video on hair, I have so many that I feel that there's enough information in those to help you out. Uh, and that looks like I've reached the end of this. But um, if you have any, um, yeah, if you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. I'm gonna try to get to a couple of the tutorials uh, you guys requested in here. Um, but I hope these answers has helped you out a little bit. 
and yep uh if you have any more questions let me know down below uh like video subscribe youtube stuff words here all right see you bye